Hello, and today I would like to make a small review about my Scott Voyager Dryo motorcycle jacket. Uh, this jacket is a two layer laminated jacket with thermal insert. I bought this jacket 2021, so I've been using it for two seasons now. And following are my thoughts about this jacket. At the time I bought it for 405 euros. Uh, full price for 449 euros. At the moment the full price is 519, but I saw a sale on for 442 euros. And this jacket comes in black, in this color, which is blue and grey. And the same blue, but the grey part is a sort of sand color or a little bit beige. Now about this jacket, it says quite good features and uh, let's start on the top the color is uh, neoprene style material very stretchy flexible and very comfortable around your neck uh, it is closed by a magnet and also with a pop rivet so it's very easy even if you forget to close it the magnet will uh, keep it closed then the main zipper is just an ordinary zipper and then you have this overlapping uh, uh, panels that you secure with pop rivets and I never had any problems with water coming into them. For adjustment this uh, jacket has a two-step adjustment on your arms, two-step adjustment in ends of the sleeves, you have elasticated waistband and outside of the jacket you have this um, manual adjustment strap uh, then inside of the jacket you have a cord a lower part of the jacket if you want to pull the jacket even more tight around your uh, body uh, for ventilation you have uh, two main panels in front they are normally zipped closed, but when you want to open, just zip them open. And with magnets they are held open. Same on here. Uh, like that. Then you have ventilation panels behind the zippers uh, on the end of the sleeves. And you have ventilation uh, outlets on the back on both sides. With this kind of mesh material behind the zipper. And in my opinion, ventilation works uh, quite well and for temperature range this jacket I would recommend based on my experience uh, of course that's personal to everybody but for my experience from 15 to 25 degrees and from 15 to 20 degrees I would wear it with a thermal jacket inside and above 20 I would already take the thermal jacket out of the jacket for next is the pockets you have I think it's waterproof but I'm not 100% sure you have this uh, uh, more waterproof or water resistant rubberized zipper on, uh, on the right side of the jacket and inside the pocket you have this kind of um, uh, microfiber cloth to clean your visor or goggles or sunglasses uh, like that and it's nice that when you close the zipper you can uh, also secure the uh, zipper tab so that it don't flap about which is also a nice feature in the rest of the pockets in front you have three you have a chest pocket on your right and two uh, pockets on the lower part of the jacket and uh, all these pockets are the same style quite deep quite big and they have sort of roll top uh, sorry uh, roll down uh, tops that if you close the flap the top part of the pocket is like rolled down and then you secure it with the pop rivet so it's more like water resistant pockets maybe not 100% waterproof uh, behind the lower pockets you have uh, small uh, pockets mm, uh, which have uh, lined with uh, felt so it's quite nice for your hands the negative is that these openings are quite small so it's very hard to fit your hands in with wearing the gloves 
Uh, also maybe small negative thing about this jacket is that some uh, adventure jackets you have here in the back a small pocket as well for your gloves or something like that. This jacket doesn't have uh, this feature. Then for protection uh, this jacket comes with uh, D3O uh, protection and with the jacket comes the uh, shoulder protection and uh, elbow protection. The back protector <laughs> is not included in this uh, jacket when you buy it, so you have to buy it uh, separately. And uh, the back protector goes in through this opening into the uh, pocket and you have to check the sizes, what kind of size you want to use. And I have uh, 2L size in uh, the L sized jacket and it works quite fine. I'm 180 centimeters uh, tall. Uh, then the thermal jacket, it's uh, nothing special, it's just like the thermal jackets in, in most motorcycle gear. This one however is quite thin, if you feel it it's quite quite thin. It's maybe not as thick as many others. But uh, nice feature about this thermal liner is it is zipped into the main jacket all the way. So when you zip it in, it's in the place. It doesn't move about, it's, it's fixed and it's uh, very easy to use your jacket on and off when you have the thermal liner in. Uh, in the ends of the sleeves of the thermal liner you have these color coded tabs that you connect to the also color coded tabs in the end of the main jacket. These are elastic so we allow a little bit of movement and if you connect color to color the sleeves are always the correct way because sometimes if you have all black colored uh, sleeves you can put them in the wrong place and then the sleeves are uh, twisted in the main jacket and you have to redo them if you want to wear the, the jacket. Uh, the thermal jacket has also some small pockets on uh, both sides. Uh, yeah, they're just they're gonna mesh fabric uh, jacket, uh, sorry, pockets. Uh, one negative thing maybe about this uh, thermal liner is that it is just a thermal liner. You cannot wear it as a separate jacket. Well, you can put it on, but there is no way of connecting this jacket uh, uh, or zipping it up if you want to wear it as a separate jacket and it is quite short so it, it wouldn't <coughs> function as as a separate jacket uh, uh, like some of the uh, motorcycle uh, jackets have now days you can of course put it on and wear it but it's just it's just not a real jacket uh, for rest you have a very long zipper to connect the pants. Uh, it's a really really nice feature. It almost goes all the way your uh, body. It's very easy to use. Uh, uh, this panel is also kind of elastic and a uh, little bit like a mesh. So the wind uh, or ventilation works also through that a little bit. Uh, also a nice feature because sometimes you have only very small uh, this kind of zipper to zip up your pants so more wind gets uh, into the jacket. Uh, so what about negative things? Negative things I found maybe it's just me. If you have a similar uh, jacket leave a comment what you think. Uh, if I close the ventilation flaps in front and in the back and I have thermal liner in and I ride then sometimes you get this cold feeling here in your shoulders. Not anywhere else, it's, it's fine, just in, in uh, these two places. I don't know why that is, because all the ventilations are closed, thermal liners are in, but you still get this kind of cold feeling. Maybe it's just me, but uh, leave me a comment if you have the same or you know why that is. Uh, other negative things about 
This jacket, yeah, like I said, in the back you don't have this adventure style peak pocket. Uh, yeah, the thermal uh, liner cannot be uh, worn as separate jacket. Uh, and for me, that's about it. It's very easy to take care of this jacket. Mm, wash, uh, take out uh, uh, protection, it's very easy. Uh, so I definitely recommend this jacket. It's the best jacket I've ever worn. And this is my go-to jacket. And I really, really can recommend it. Looks good, it fits very well, it's comfortable, it's quite easy to take care of. And I've over two years I haven't had any issues, not not one thing. All the seams are fine, all the zippers are fine, everything works just as new. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you in my next videos.